We'll talk about the reports within Metasoft and how the reports can help ensure the financial stability of your business. I would say that Metasoft reports prior to version 15 sucked. That's, I am the product manager, so I'm allowed to stand up here and say that. You're not hurting my feelings. It's okay to say, Tony, your reports sucked. Because they did. The reports would not allow you to report out on a facility by facility basis. They would not allow you to get down to the nitty gritty of the detail uh, to a lot of different situations, like I'll show you in just a minute. These reports now come standard with Metasoft, and there's a few changes with version 16 that we're making to the integration with Focus that we'll talk about in a minute. So first, this is the reports interface that we have. Those of you who have Focus are familiar with this. Those of you who don't, this is what your reports interface will change to with version 15 and version 16. It's very uh, familiar to you if you're used to using an Explorer window in Windows. You have the tree uh, set up on the left where you have your, uh, your report folders and all of the rest of the reports are listed over there on the right underneath their corresponding folder. With 260 standard reports that come with the system, it's not always easy to find the report that you want. So our Metasoft reports that now come with version 15 and 16 will allow you to set up a favorites folder where you can take the reports that you run most often, drop them in a favorites so that you can go find them easily. It also allows you to customize your folder view on the left hand side. So if you have daily reports, you want to put those into a daily reports folder, you can do that. You have monthly reports, you can put those in a monthly reports folder. And uh, it really allows you flexibility around the reporting within the, the Metasoft program. Let's talk a little bit about how the new reports that come within Metasoft will help the finances of your office. I don't have time to talk about 260 different reports, but I'll talk about a few of them. The first report that we have up here is one that didn't exist in Metasoft prior to version 15. It's appointments with no charge. This report shows what they're not even recording. If there is, a, if for an office to really be financially performing, how many appointments should be on this report? None. If there's this many report or this many appointments on this report, your office has done all of that work and will not collect one penny for any of it. This report will help you locate appointments that you have not entered charges for to ensure that you're collecting for all the work that you did. If you've done the work, you have costs. You need to get paid for the work that you do. I'm busy teaching this concept to my eight-year-old son right now. He does his homework, takes it to school in his backpack, and leaves it in his backpack. And I get notes home from the teacher, he's not doing his homework, he's not turning it in. And I know he did it because I sat down with him for three hours and did it. It's very frustrating to me that we would take the time to do that work and not get credit for it. It's even worse for a doctor. Because when my son does, and he, he's going to get a C instead of an A. The doctor's not going to get paid for any of this. If the doctor doesn't get paid, you don't get paid. If you don't get paid, your, your office is not going to be financially stable. If this grows to a point where it is out of control, you really could face the, the prospect of going under as a business. Not because you were a bad doctor, but because you didn't take care of everything. The doctor saw these patients and didn't get paid for it because you didn't enter a charge for these. These are all of the appointments that don't have an, a charge entered for them. All right, let's look at another report, flash report. This is a report that comes up very quickly, no filters entered, and gives you at a glance what's going on within your office. What you're able to see is how many charges you've, uh, you've entered, what your insurance payments are, your patient payments, and any adjustments, withholds, and your net change to your accounts receivable on this report, along with a trend. This report, if, if my practice had this report, I would be really, really mad if, if it came up looking like this. Now, I ran this on the 5th of February, and if there's charges that have been entered on Wednesday and Thursday, 
and I didn't even collect any copays on that day. There's a problem. Now this, this particular setup that you see up here, I wouldn't expect any of your reports to look like this. But what it does allow you to do is track trending. It'll allow you to see what's going on with my insurance payments. Are my charges trending up? Are my charges trending down? Are my payments trending up? Are my payments trending down? It'll allow you to see where your finances are going before they get there so that you don't find out, you know what, my, ins my insurance payments tanked five months ago and I didn't even recognize it. 